Hello, I'm Harry Hill, and I'm here to recommend that you take up the Summer Reading Challenge and become a mischief maker. Get down your library uh, and start reading. Uh, I was a big Beano reader as a child, like all of us in the 70s. That, I guess, was when the Beano was... Everyone had a copy. Uh, so it was the Beano, the Dandy, Wizard and Chips, uh, Look and Learn was another one I, I used to read. Everyone bought uh, the comics if they could afford them. I mean, um, I liked Nasher particularly. I kind of identified with Nasher, I think, because he was uh, a little bit mischievous, but not as naughty as Dennis. And he was a dog, of course, and I really always liked dogs. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I was always reading as a, as a kid and, you know, libraries were really important to me because you couldn't really afford to buy books. I don't know why I couldn't afford to buy, I never had any money. So the whole thing was you were allowed four library tickets for the local library. I grew up in a small village in Kent and so you could get four books out, but sometimes that wasn't enough and I would borrow my mum's library tickets so that I could take maybe six out. Um, and there would be this thing where you would order, you know, there's some book would come out and you would order it and hang around and wait for it to turn up. And the books I liked were, I used to like the, the kind of, you know, Bright and Famous Five books when I was a lot younger. I used to like the Hardy Boys. Basically, kids involved in kind of adventures, solving crimes. And um, me and my friend Patrick set up a kind of um, Hardy Boys detective agency in the village. Um, but sadly, that, there wasn't a hell of a lot of crime in it. I mean, it was good that there wasn't much crime in the village, but it didn't really help our agency. Uh, I would live in the world of James Bond. When I was about 11, I was a bit young for them, but I started reading the James Bond book, so uh, I loved all that, you know, international espionage and... Uh, all that lot. Uh, well, I liked a lot of different authors. You know, as, you, as I grew up, different, you know, start, like I say, I started off with Enid Blyton and then I really liked Roald Dahl. And, and the great thing about Roald Dahl was that he wrote some kind of uh, more grown up books as well when I got a bit older. I really liked uh, Spike Milligan's books. He's uh, got a lot of books of funny kind of poems and silly jokes. Um, and then he's also got his autobiographies, which are all about his time in the Second World War, which are interesting, but also really funny too.